vlog log. How you guys doing? Me? I'm doing pretty well. Thanks for asking in the future, which I can somehow hear you through the past because I have time ears, which allow me to hear things that be said in the future. So if you could all just go and look up the lottery numbers and say them out loud, that would be fantastic. I'll hear them when I'm done with this video. Anyway, I think we had a pretty good week. We had Kevin and Jocelyn being pretty like, yeah, like dreams are a good thing to have. But you know, you don't want to get you don't want to get constrained by them. You don't want to just be thinking, "Oh, my life's pretty terrible" because you're thinking of all the things that could be happening. And I absolutely 100% agree. Like, you don't want to you, you don't want to bog yourself down, which is kind of why I was asking if it was an addiction or not because like I I, I could totally see myself getting addicted to things that could possibly be and getting addicted to thinking that way. And so I, I totally agree. I, and we have Luke, who I'd like to say, like Luke, you don't, you, you're, you're, you're working your way through life here. You're, you're young and you're trying to figure out how to interact with people and you don't know where you're trying to go in the future. And that's totally okay. That is not, that is not a problem. Um, I think you have plenty of really good ideas and I think you, you mentioned this a little bit, having good ideas and then necessarily follow through. I have that problem too, as you probably know because things we've tried to do together, which were fairly ambitious goals, just didn't work out. And you know, I wish that that wouldn't have happened the way it did, um, not working out. I, I, would have, I would have liked that for that to have happened, but unfortunately it didn't. And you know, you just have to say, okay, so we thought about it and it didn't happen. Oh well. and. That's just a part of life. You try things, you maybe not try as hard as you might have needed to to succeed, and so you fail. And failure is good. You have to keep reinventing yourself and trying to figure out what works and just repeated experimentation. That That's all very good. And then, of course, we had Niall's podcast and stolen artwork show. That was, that was entertaining. Um, and his giant warehouse. If you open a warehouse, Niall, I would absolutely love to come and practice pogo sticking around your giant warehouse. Because, you know, why not? Pogo sticking through a warehouse sounds like something I would do at least once, if not many times. It depends on how big the warehouse is. If, like, the warehouse is 17 feet by 3 feet, it would probably be a little too small to do much pogo sticking, and I'd probably jump on someone's, like, birdhouse that they were making in the shop corner of this incredibly small warehouse. Enough about warehouses. I want to circle back to continue talking about Luke's video. In particular, the whole, like, we failed at stuff part. Because failure is a huge part of life. And I don't want to dwell on the failures of our lives because I'm sure we have all had many, 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 many of them. But I want to, I want to, I want to try to focus on the improvement. We all learn from our failures. I think we, we, we sort of have this huge fear of failure and that's really bad because you learn things from failing. And so I want to talk about what we've learned from our previous failures. Let's sort of all share and try to learn from each other's mistakes so we don't make the same mistakes as well, or at least we know how to sort of handle certain types of mistakes that we will all inevitably tr make. Okay, let me kick this off by teaching you a lesson that I've tried to teach many, many times on YouTube, mostly by example. And that is always, always just turn in what you've got. And let, let me preface this by saying I was an absolutely, really not a good high school student. In high school I failed many, many a class. And it all sort of came to a head with a really, really big failure. Uh, and I was taking a college credit, like with a college, we had college professors in my high school teaching a class. It was my first one. It was a programming course. It was really cool. And I failed, just flat out failed. And I, that, that point is actually sort of a huge pivot pivotal moment in my life. I can see a lot of stuff pivoting around that point because I finally figured out why I failed. And it wasn't because I didn't know the material. It wasn't because I wasn't necessarily putting in work. I'm a huge procrastinator. Like that is a, that is a huge issue I have. But what I realized in failing that class 
was I failed that class because I didn't turn in work. Like, it was all project-based, and I didn't turn anything in. Anything. Even though I would get a large percentage of the program done and operational, I would never turn it in because it wasn't done and the due date came, so I'm not done, I'm not going to turn it in. And I'd get zero points instead of perhaps like the 80% that I would get if I had just turned it in because it was 80% there. I was too embarrassed to just put out what I had. And that was a huge, huge repeated problem that I, I finally grasped from like every other course that I failed consistently through high school. I wouldn't have quite all my English paper done. Wouldn't turn it in. Failed the English classes. I didn't have all my math homework done. Oh, wouldn't turn it in. Mm, there we go. Done. Failure. I realized that my ego was very, very, very much getting in the way of my success. And so after that point, I, I, I started just turning in whatever I'd get. I'd still procrastinate the same exact amount. I, amount. I still procrastinate really awfully to this day. But I just turn in whatever it's there. A minute before it's deadline. Okay, submit what I got. We'll see whatever grade I get. Oh, I'm on an exam. Well, I don't know how to do this, but this is all the relevant stuff that I do know, even though I can't quite connect all the dots. Oh, look, partial credit. Because a lot of professors I found are really, really nice. If you write, like, everything you know about the surrounding issue of the topic, or, like, the surrounding how you solve the problem, or how you solve the problem up to a certain point, even if you don't take it all the way, they, a lot of them will be really nice. Now, that's not going to be true for every professor, and certainly not every program and every class, but I found that just turning in whatever you have, and just saying, you know, this is what I got done. Can I have the credit for the work that I did do instead of no credit at all? Has saved like a million of my classes. So yeah, from this huge failure in high school, which seriously threw my life into like total jeopardy for a while and like everything that I had wanted to achieve was like, well, you can't pass a simple programming course. Well, what are you thinking? And that, that, was, that was a rough period of my life, but I realized from it uh, that I have to not have an ego about the work that I do and I have to just do what I can in the time I have and the time I'm willing to put into it because I sort of I sort of put more time into stuff as deadlines approach, which is why I arbitrarily gave myself deadlines when I was doing YouTube when I first came up. And I was like, I'm just going to have a deadline and whatever I get up by this point I have up, but I'm definitely going to put something up, which, you know, is something that's come back up in Vita. And I hope to tour continue to carry back through till, you know, the next, the next few months and perhaps years. And it's, it's a really cool thing that I, I gained from this really, really massive failure that could have killed, like, everything. If I, if, like, this was a lesson that if I didn't learn then, I probably never would have learned, and I would be in a very, very different state. Like, my life would be totally different if at that moment I didn't realize what I did, which, you know, to just repeat, turn in what you got. Get credit for work that you have done, even though it's not perfect. Nothing is ever going to be perfect. Nothing is ever going to be 100% done. Yeah, you procrastinated on something probably far longer than you should have, but you did do a lot of the work, so get a majority of the credit. And, you know, it's worked out pretty well. I'm pretty happy. So, that, that, that would be my lesson from a failure. And I, I'm curious to see what other people will have to say on this. And maybe they'll have nothing to say at all. I don't know. But I thought it was an interesting question. And something that at least I could tell you what I have learned. So yeah, I look forward to reading the comments to this video. And finding out what you guys have done. That has been really bad. But you learned something and I guess it doesn't have to be really bad. Just a failure that you made doesn't necessarily have to be as like life-threateningly awful as mine was. It could be something really minor. But if you realize something that will improve our, our collective lives, if we if it's a lesson we can apply, then you know, that would be that would be fantastic. And until next Friday, I'll see you then. Bye!